Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys for my very first video, how I did kind of like a movie theater type setup in my bedroom that I really, really, really love. And I wanted to share with you guys what I did, but I want to preface this video by saying that my setup that I used is about like a hundred, two hundred dollars. <laughs> It sounds like a lot and it kind of is a lot but for what you get it's actually a pretty good price i'm not saying like you know oh yeah like you like this just drop 200 dollars. <laughs> no but if this is something that you see and you like and you want to do then you don't have to do it now if you can't do it now then you could save it for just like the future you know sometime in the future but i wanted to share this with you guys put it out there um, for anyone who sees this and really wants to do this. So, let's get on with the video. Okay. First things first, projector. You can't have anything without the projector. For the projector, I ended up getting this bad boy right here. I love it. And the reason that I got this one was one of two reasons. One, the resolution. A lot of $100 projectors are only like 480p resolution, but this projector, it's $118 and it's a 720p resolution. Now that's a big jump from 480p, trust me. Um, well, don't trust me because I didn't get those other projectors, but I would assume it's a pretty good increase. That was one of the reasons why I got this bad boy. The second reason why I got it is because I could adjust the image size. So basically, as you can see in this video, the blue screen would have been the original image size being projected. And as you can see, it's too big for my projector screen. It's going off the edges. But then when I plug it into my laptop, I was able to adjust the image size, like the X and Y, like the height and width, to have it fit in my screen. And it ended up being able to fit perfectly. And this is really, really useful for my instance where I had a small bedroom. So I didn't have that much luxury in terms of like the distance between my screen and my projector. So being able to have this feature kind of made that not a problem and it saved my butt. So those are the two reasons, the main two reasons why I got this projector. But there is another projector that I recently came across that's a, also 720p. It's $105, so it's a couple of dollars cheaper, but I do not know if it has that option to adjust the image size because all the reviews that I've seen on it, which aren't many, are only about like the resolution and the outer features of it. So I can't really tell you for sure. I mean, if you wanna give it a look and see and buy it, check it out, but do whatever you think is best for you. So that's the projector basically. And just a quick overview on my projector. It comes with like the focal dial, the keystone, which isn't that great by the way. Try to keep the projector as level as possible to your projector screen but it has a keystone it has two hdmi inputs one usb input the typical like vga or rgb whatever input that all projectors have it has a headphone and the av input and also an sd card input i think that's all of it the projector comes with an hdmi cable i had to buy an adapter for mine so that factored into like the budget of the $200. If your computer has the HDMI input, then you don't have to worry about an adapter, but I had to get one, so. And the projector also comes with like these two other audio cable, I guess it's for like gaming systems and stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it comes with those. And then it also comes with the remote that is really, really good and the power cord, obviously. That's what the projector comes with and I really freaking love it. it has been really great I had it for a couple of months now and I've hadn't had problems any problems yet but you know time will tell I guess second thing that you'll need is the projector screen now if you're gonna just use a big blank white wall in your room then you kind of could just ignore all this and just take a look at the projector and that's it 
but if you're like me where you don't have a big white wall in your room or the one that you did have is covered with pictures and art and stuff then you could keep on watching. The projector that I got is about $50. It is a portable projector. You can like close it up and then take it with you wherever you want. I was a little bougie with my projector because I wanted to make sure that my projector was pretty good. Although if you do want a bigger projector because mine's only 50 inch, if you want the 100 or 120 inch, those though are not like this projector. They're kind of just like a sheet almost. And they have like, holes going around the edges of the projector so you could like hang it up. I do have those also linked down below along with this one. Now I use the garment rack to hang up my screen and I hung it up by using kind of like a shower curtain hook like that. It's like an S shape as you can see. Now the smaller end you want to like hook that um, through the back of the projector or like through the projector opening like the hole on the edges and then you just put the bigger end of it onto the pole of the garment rack. Now if you get a bigger screen you might need like two garment racks in order to hang up your screen along the edges. Just a fair warning on that end. The one that I have I don't know how much it was so I'm sorry but I have linked down below an option on Amazon that you could look at that is about like $24 but I feel like you could maybe go to like Bed Bath & Beyond or something and if you have a coupon you can find it for cheaper maybe so it all depends you don't have to get the one that I provided for you guys you could just find whichever one works best honestly I have linked down below kind of these type of hooks that I also found on Amazon for about five dollars it's a pack of 12 and they're like silver so you can take a look at that if you want and that's pretty much it in terms of my setup one other thing that you could buy is a, a tripod stand for your projector. Now I just have mine on my nightstand on top of like the box it came in plus like these two thin books. That's all I needed but if you have your projector somewhere in your room where it's like it does there is no surface and you want to buy this tripod or just give it a look and see if you can make like your own makeshift tripod I don't know you could just give it a look I have that also linked down below an option that I found on Amazon and I think that is pretty much it and with that you'll have like your little own movie theater setup which is amazing like it makes watching movies and shows just so much more fun to do. It's just kind of like, it's an experience, you know? It's like a whole experience. And I really loved it. I thought it was worth every penny. You know, I worked and saved in order to be able to do this and it was totally worth it. Especially when you think about like at the stores for those small flat screen TVs that are only like a 32 inch they're about $100, $200. So with this, you could get like a 50 inch, 100 inch, 120 inch screen for about $100, $200. So I thought it was way worth, way more worth the money. And I really love it. And I hope you guys love it too. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can just, you know, click the subscribe button if you want. I know it's a little too soon because I only have one video, but you know, if you want to just take a chance on me, that'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, and I will see you guys in my next